All right, what's happening? You know, I have a question for you is, would you trade a dollar today to get like $12 in the future? Here's what I mean. I saw this uh, graphic. You've probably seen it already as well. I saw this graphic come out today uh, from Keeping Current Matters, and they used some core logic data to see how much equity people have built up over the past 12 months. So they looked at, you know, the values last year compared to this year. And on a national level, homeowners have averaged uh, an extra $64,000 in equity in the past 12 months, which, which is awesome. And I looked up Colorado where I'm at right now, and it's actually $92,000 in Colorado, like $92,000 in the past 12 months. So, you know, I started thinking about that, man, $92,000, that's a lot of money to make in a year off of an asset that, you know, you're, you're paying, you're paying down also. And so I just looked at some numbers, right? And, you know, everybody obviously right now, people are hooping and hollering about interest rates and everything is, you know, there's a lot of changes going on. And, you know, as an example, I Googled and the average interest rate in January was 3.77%. And the average interest rate right now is 5.74%, right? So it's about 2% difference. And so when you think about that, people are like, oh my God, 6% interest, like I would never pay that. But let's look at this, okay? So I looked to see what's the average home selling for in Colorado today, and that price is $589,634. That's the average selling price of a home in Colorado according to Zillow, okay? So, boo! Anyways, so, uh, you know, that's where I grabbed the data from. But, so then when you look at that, I looked at what's the difference in those payments, okay? If we're talking about the same home price, What's the difference in payment? And so at 3.77%, your payment was like 2190. With the higher interest rate, it's 2752. So your difference is $562 a month. 562 bucks. So imagine it's kind of like putting it into an investment, right? You're just investing an extra $562 a month. And that's just what it costs you right now in order to get this asset, your house. And so with a $562 difference, it's like $6,700 a year, okay, is your difference between if you would have got a house at the lowest point as compared to a house now where it's more normal interest rates, right? You're talking about a $6,700 a year difference. And in order to, um, and then so when you look at like you paid $6,700 extra, but your asset appreciated by $92,000, right? So you're paying in 6,700, you're profiting 85,000 when you go to sell, when you go to sell the house, right? So it's definitely something to think about where the interest rate, even though it's higher, it almost doesn't matter still because the way the houses appreciate and the way you pay down the house and, and those things, you're still end up building a ton of equity into the house, you know, into your house. Obviously that's assuming, you know, something catastrophic doesn't occur or whatever, but as a historical data, you know, for the past, I think maybe 40 years or so, homes have continually appreciated over the long term. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to post the data from Keeping Current Matters. I'll show the screenshot uh, or the, you know, the image that they put out in the comments. And I'd be curious to see like how this works out for you in your market. I mean, so in Colorado, somebody could trade out $6,700 extra to eventually make $85,000 extra. So it's kind of like putting money into an investment account that, you know, when you go to sell the house is gonna return you back a pretty handsome reward. So let me know what the numbers look like in your market, I'm kind of curious, but yeah, I don't know if this is interesting to anybody else, but I just thought it was cool to check out the data and see see how that played out since people are constantly talking about interest rates. And the truth is it does make a difference, but if you've got the extra $500 a month and it's not that big of a deal, then Go ahead and do that because you know you're going to get this reward um, later on at the end where you're going to, you know, in the case of Colorado right now, maybe you're 10 or 12 times in your money, right? So pretty awesome. All right. Hope you guys like that. See you later. Peace.